Okay, so without using a calculator, can you figure out this basic math problem? This is not that difficult. And here is the question. Uh, basically, what we have here is a multiple choice question, which is correct. And here is our answer choices. But let's go to take a look at the actual question. We have negative 1 to the 21st power minus negative 1 to the 20th power. All right, now this is not that difficult. Let's go to take a look at our answer choices. So A is negative 2, B is negative 1, C is 0, D is 1, and E is 41. All right, now even if you don't know the answer, because this is a multiple choice exam, as long as you're not being penalized, you should at least take a guess. But if you're saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I know precisely what the right answer is, we'll put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, we'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so here is the question, and we'll uh, kind of go through these options. Our answer choices it might be a little bit difficult to see. So negative 1 to the 21st minus negative 1 to the 20th. A is negative 2. B is negative 1, C is 0, D is 1, and E is 41. All right, so let's go to take a look at the right answer. The correct answer is A, negative 2. All right, now if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and A plus and 100% and a certificate of excellence for being a certified professional expert in the area of working with powers and exponents without the aid of a calculator. Now, again, you know, you could, if you were using your calculator, you could just simply plug all this stuff in and get the right answer. But we are not going to, uh, you know, rely on technology other than our supercomputer that's right here, right between our uh, ears. And this is far better than any AI. And uh, let's go and get into the solution right now. Okay, so here is our problem. So we have negative 1 to the 21st minus negative 1 to the 20th. Now, what can we do here? Okay, now obviously, now we have the answer uh, choices, but that may not kind of really help us out. I mean, there's no way to kind of plug in here to kind of check what's going on. So we're probably going to have to deal with this problem directly. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that uh, for some of you, you might be thinking to yourself, well, maybe I'm going to have to actually uh, take negative 1 and multiply it by itself 21 times. So that's negative 1. 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. Now, I'm not going to bore you for the next five minutes writing out all these negative 1s, but you could literally write out negative 1 times itself 21 times and then just kind of do that math, right? Like, all right, well, negative 1 times negative 1, that's a positive 1. Now, this is a negative 1. You know, that would, you know, uh, make anyone a little bit, uh, you know, crazy. they will be like, ah, this is the reason I don't like math. I don't want to do all that work. And you shouldn't do that work. Now, but that is an approach you could take. You could actually kind of, you know, uh, do all the calculations here and figure this out. But you don't want to do that if you uh, uh, don't have to. So a better approach is to look for patterns. Now, uh, one great way to solve a lot of math uh, problems is to try to identify trends or patterns. And here we have a great situation because we have negative 1, to an odd power and negative 1 to an even power. Maybe there's something that we can learn about negative 1 to odd and even powers. Let's go ahead and kind of experiment with that right now. All right, so here we have negative 1 squared. Now that's obviously uh, negative 1 to an even power. So we have negative 1 times negative 1. That is a positive 1. All right, how about negative 1 cubed? Well, this is negative 1 to an odd power. So that'll be negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. So here we have a positive 1 times a negative 1. That's negative 1. Now you could continue to run um, you know, more trials here just to kind of uh, get convinced or be convinced that the pattern that we have here is that negative 1 to an even power is 1, positive 1, and negative 1 to an odd power is negative 1. Now I'm only showing you two little... Um, 
examples, but you could say, okay, well, let me try a negative one to the fourth and negative one to the fifth, uh, just to kind of double confirm. But if you can determine, you know, a pattern, uh, something like this, well, it's going to make our life much easier. So let's go ahead and apply what we have here, this pattern of powers of negative one to the problem. Okay, so right here, again, we have negative one to an odd power and negative one to an even power. And we know what those um, values are. We know what the pattern tells us. So let's go ahead and apply that right now. Okay, so negative one to an even, again, this is our little notes here, is a positive one and negative one to an odd is negative one. So we're gonna wanna uh, replace this right here with this odd because this is odd, right? And this is even, so we're gonna have to replace this with a positive one. So let's kind of plug that information in right now. Okay, so here we go. So we have negative one to the 21st. Again, that's negative one to an odd power. So we're going to replace this whole thing right here with negative one. Now we have a subtraction uh, sign here, so we have to be careful with that. So we'll write that there. And then we have negative one to an even power. So that is one. So we'll put in a positive one. So what we have here is negative one minus one. All right, so hopefully uh, it, this uh, next step is going to be very easy, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just don't you love the way I kind of sneak that in? Well, I definitely need your help, okay? And uh, why would I need your help? Well, I'm trying to grow my channel to reach as many people as possible to help them in math. That's why I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over 3,000 plus videos. It takes a lot of work to put these videos together, but to me, it's a labor of love. I just love teaching math. And the reason why I love it is because I love helping people. Okay, if I know something that, um, you know, if I can teach something in a way that people like and understand, well, then you know what? That's the one thing that I'm good in. There's a lot of things I can't do, but the one thing that I do pretty good is teach math. So I'm really passionate about this stuff. And to grow my channel, YouTube needs to see people subscribe. So I need your help. Just hit that subscribe button and that notification bell as well. That really goes a long way to support this channel. And by the way, if you need help in mathematics, make sure you get it. If you want to check out my full main math courses, I have various levels from basic math to more advanced math. You can find links to those courses in the description of this video. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this problem up. This is super easy now. So we have negative one to an odd power, that's negative one, minus this negative one to an even power, that's a positive one. So really this problem is negative one minus one. So negative one minus one is the same thing as negative one plus a negative one, okay? So remember, when you are subtracting positive and negative numbers, when you have a subtraction situation, you can turn it into a plus negative. Now, if you forgot all this stuff, well, it tells me that you need a quick review on basic uh, positive and negative numbers, but no big deal. You know, uh, again, if you don't understand this or if you forgot all this, don't feel bad. You know, my videos aren't designed to make anyone feel bad. Just make a little shopping list, a math shopping list of what you want to review. Oh, I need to review positive and negative numbers or whatever the case might be. All right, so now we have negative one plus a negative one and negative one plus negative one is negative two. All right, so again, when you are looking at math problems that seem a little bit un, uh, uh, unorthodox, right? Something like this. And this is a good um, kind of reminder for those of you that are still uh, math students or still have to take some sort of exam. Now, you could be um, you know, someone like a professional that has to take a uh, some sort of uh, certification exam or some sort of exam that requires math. And these type of problems you know, show up all the time. And anytime you see a problem, and when you first glance at the problem, it looks like there is a lot of work uh, to get to the answer, okay? And again, you uh, assume that you cannot use a calculator. Well, that's a good clue that uh, they want you to kind of go another way. In other words, they're not looking for you to take negative one, like in this particular example, multiply it by itself 21 times or 20 times there's another approach. So you need to look for those approaches because if you don't take, you know, if you don't try to find this shorter approach, what ends up uh, happening is you're gonna uh, spend a lot of time, you know, trying to um, 
you know, do the work to figure out the problem. Okay, so just as a reminder, if it looks like uh, overwhelming, well, that's, you know, good chances are is that, you know, there is an easy approach. So look for patterns. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.